Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. I've noticed on various social media sites when a post is made with four to six firearms and say, choose just one, a lot of people enjoy that and they engage. And I thought that would be a cool thing to do on this channel. The viewers of this channel certainly engage, so we'll see how this goes. And if it does really well, then we'll make a series out of it. Today, we're going to feature five mid-size 9mm handguns. Mid-size, right around the three and a half inch barrel line, somewhere in there. And double stacks for the most part. Typically, 12 to 15 rounds. All right, and I've got five of them I'm going to feature. Let's throw them on the table. We'll take a minute, talk about it, and you let me know which one you would choose. Let's start with the FNS 9C or the FN 509C. That's the updated model, the 509C. It has the same dimensions. It's essentially the same gun. It just has some additional accessories and features like optic cuts and raised sights and threaded barrels and everything that is available. They both come with 10, 12, and 15 round mags. I currently have a 12 round mag in here. I like it for the three finger contact, keeping it compact as well. Full rail there, 3.7 inch barrel. This one has night sights. Ambidextrous magazine release and slide stop on both sides. I've had this for a while. It has performed very well. I've enjoyed it. I've run everything through it. I don't recall ever having a problem. It has a hinge trigger. I'm measuring that right at six and a half pounds. Doesn't feel any heavier than the other ones, but that's what it's measuring at. The 509C. Nice addition to this review and let me know if this would be your choice. This is the Glock 43X. A lot of people love Glock. They'll say, give me the Glock. I don't care what list you put out there. Give me the Glock and I'm sure this will get a lot of people's attention. Now it does come with 10 round mags, but if you like to shield 15 round mags, that, that would be a great way to go with this. So I'm not worried about the magazine capacity. This is a bit smaller with a 3.4 inch barrel. Has the Glock sights there, but you can interchange them out. There's a ton of aftermarket support with this already. Trigger, five and a half pounds. I measured it up. Glock is not five and a half pounds across the board, like they say on their site, but this one actually is. It has the trigger bar safety in there. A ton of aftermarket supports to lighten it up or to do whatever you want, you know, throw a different one in there. But the smallest and lightest one that I'm going to feature today, a lot of people trust Glock. They want Glock. They say, just give me a Glock. I don't, I don't care what else, you know, and if that's you, then you'll go with the Glock 43X. Overall, nice pistol though. I have no complaints with the 43X. Here we have a Springfield Armory Hellcat Pro. I have to believe that most people haven't experienced the Hellcat Pro yet. It's rather new, but most likely they've experienced a Springfield Hellcat. And it's the same concept. It's just a larger Hellcat with a longer grip, 15 round flush fitting mags, and a 3.7 inch barrel. It has a Gen 3 trigger that I'm measuring about a half pound lighter than the original Hellcat, right at five pounds. A nice trigger with a very clean pull and reset. Still has the tritium front dot, U-notch rear sights, sight hole indicator, a rail, overall great feel. I love what Springfield has done with the Hellcat line. They keep expanding it and this really lit the internet on fire when they introduced the Hellcat Pro. I think it's a fine addition, and I love the Hellcat models, and I think this Pro is a fine choice, and I certainly enjoy that additional barrel length. Now we have the CZ P10S. The viewers of this channel love CZ handguns. They are yet to lose a handgun showdown competition, so we'll see how they do with this one. The P10S comes with 12 round mags. I have an addition there, plus two addition, so this currently is set up for 14 rounds, but a nice grip texture, comes with additional back straps, 3.5 inch barrel, an accessory rail, tritium front dot, serrated black rear sights, optic ready, an excellent trigger. Measure this right at five pounds. People love the P10 series and the P10S is a nice addition. Very short reset. Check this out. 
That is extremely short. And I've had it for a while, and it has performed excellent. I've run everything. Steel case, aluminum case, self-defense loads, doesn't matter. It's a CZ. It's very refined. It's built excellent, you know, quality made, everything else. So the P10 series has expanded. The P10S is one of their greats, in my opinion. Another popular handgun, a very popular handgun, are... Mechanics, and this is the TP9 Elite Subcompact. A lot of people love this gun. I've had it for a while. It's been great. You notice the tungsten gray finish there. Comes with a 12 and a 15 round mag. A ton of accessories in the case. I'm not even going to get into it, but it is true. Serrated black rear sights, pinned in front dot, uh, two slot rail, forward serrations, optic ready out of the case, ambidextrous, magazine release, and slide stop. Well, the mag release can be switched over. It's <laughs> a little going a little quick here, but a trigger that is measuring at four and a half pounds, and the least expensive of all the guns that I'm featuring. So four and a half pound trigger. People fall in love with Canics. They pull that trigger and say, "That thing is awesome." Look at that reset. Very much a fan. I like the Canic models. I like this TP9 Elite Subcompact. This is Canic's smallest pistol, and. It reviews well, it shoots well, and people love everything that is included. I'm hoping this becomes a series, and what I'll do is report the majority vote with the next Which One Would You Choose video, and I think it will be a lot of fun. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.